friends, welcome back. As you can tell, we're gonna be unboxing our Fae Crate for the month of September. Um, I look like shit, I sound like shit, and it's because I don't feel well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting sick, I don't know if it's like my anxiety and everything playing in together, but I just really don't feel well this week. In the last couple of days I've been feeling really sluggish and slow and my stomach's been really hurting, so we're doing an unedited unboxing. Now, spoilers, I have already unboxed this because I could not wait. I was just so friggin' excited and I needed to get into it as soon as possible, but it was so good that I thought I would share it with you guys. I didn't share last month's unboxing because I felt like my channel had a lot of unboxings on it and I didn't want to oversaturate it. Um, so we're gonna get into it. I gotta put my glasses on because I can't freaking see. You guys hardly ever see these glasses and it's because they are actually my editing glasses. They have the most, like, glare and blue filter on them um, and it is what I use when obviously I'm editing videos. So let's get into it so I can show you what we got. First thing is the spoiler card. It is very pretty. It is obviously made by Gabrielle as it is always. The theme was Courting Danger and the free book we get this month is Shoot the Messenger by Pippa DaCosta and it says lies aren't her only weapons against the fae. So it is kind of a fae ninja secretive kind of book. I can't talk today. I'm really sorry. But I do really like this artwork. I think it's really pretty. I don't necessarily know who it is. It's probably from the book that we actually got, but I do like it. And I save all of them, so I do have all of them. First thing we got that I'm really excited about and my roommate is also really excited about are cookie cutters. These are throwing stars or ninja star cookie cutters. I really, really like these. I don't actually own a whole lot of cookie cutters, but I do enjoy baking cookies. I like baked goods, but I'm not actually that great at it, but my roommate is a great baker, so I'm gonna put these downstairs in our kitchen so that he can have access to them, but I really like that this kind of item was included. I do like the overall theme of this box as well. You'll see as we go. I I'm very excited. I think it's really, I don't know, seasonally appropriate as well. I'm gonna put the spoiler card here. I think that the throwing stars were just like a fake rate exclusive item. The next thing we got here comes in this little bag. It says on the front, why be the sheep when you can be the wolf? It is a brown bag and as you can hear, it does have something metal in it. What could it be? This is the thing I think that I am the most excited for, and it would be metal straws. So these are what they look like. We have one that I tend to use, the bendy one, not bendy, they don't bend obviously, but the ones with the bend in them. We do have a straight one, and then we have like a boba straw or like a milkshake straw. It is huge. This is like a normal straw here, and this is the size of this one. I really like this. I think it's really cool. I also like that they included a scrubber for it. You just, you know, obviously like scrub your straw with it. I own so many of these because I own so many metal straws. They sit in a cup next to our sink and I need to just start bringing them with me, but I didn't have anything to carry them in and now I have this. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry this around with me so that I do always have a metal straw. And this is from Grave Mercy Stainless Steel Straw Set. Take mercy on the planet with these Grave Mercy Stainless Steel Straws. You can even get a pretty bag for them. And I agree, I really like this bag. I think it's cool that they included that. The next thing that I see here is this, and it says Cardin's Recipes for Disaster with a Pinch of Chaos to Get Your Tail Wagging. And it looks like this, and inside are these sleeves that you can put stuff in. Um, I really like this, let me see if I can get it. Uh, I'll just say, let me see if I can get it open so I can show you guys what it actually looks like. But I hate doing this. It's so annoyingly loud. Alright, so this is what it looks like. So this is the finish of it. I really, really like this. I'm not a fan of the series, but that is okay because this is still a functional item. On the spine of the book, it says recipes for disaster, chaos, and mischief for scheming fae and humans alike. So you can kind of just like set this on your counter and it keeps a bunch of recipes in it because we also got a recipe notebook. So on it, it says recipe four and it shows the ingredients on this side and then the instructions on the other side. I believe in you, camera. I believe in you. <laughs> I apparently had I apparently have too much faith in my camera. Did it focus? <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I really like these. I think these are really cool to have. And they do obviously fit perfectly into the actual recipe card that we got, or recipe book that we got. So it says, let me find it. 
Schemer's recipe album by Reading Revelry. Our favorite fave prince is full of mischief and wit, and he's got us covered for all our dastardly cooking needs. If you're not into cooking, it works works great for print storage too. Definitely I could see that. Um, and then we had the recipe card set. So this is a perfect match for your recipe card album or you can write all of your secrets in code to hide your plans for world domination. I like that a lot too. The next thing we have here is the coin, the collector's coin. It looks like this one is from Red Queen. It says we are made of flame and shadows. Cal's favorite. Oh, Cal is a favorite of ours, so we had to include him in our coin collection. I actually really like Cal. Cal was like one of the only reasons I kept reading the book, and then Maven I really liked a lot as well. But it says House Calore, which is obviously Cal's house within the books. This is very cool. I like the actual design of it. It doesn't have like a super big quote like the other ones normally do, but I like the added like emblem design. I don't know, that's really pretty. I wish I liked that series. I feel like I'm the only person who didn't like that series. These two things are for the book. The next thing we have here is an apron. And it says, too hot to care. <laughs> it's really cute. I don't actually own an apron, but I wish I did like all the time when I'm cooking and I'm getting shit everywhere. So this is really cool to have but it's very pretty. I like the colors and it feels really nice. Like it really, it feels like it's really gonna keep stuff off of you when you are cooking. So I need to find somewhere to put this downstairs in our kitchen, but I really like it. I don't remember where it is from though. Let's see. Oh, an ember in the ashes. Show us how you really feel with an apron splash with some out of context Elias from an ember in the ashes. I can see that. I really like that series a lot. The most recent book was pretty disappointing to me, but I am so really excited to have this because overall I do really enjoy that series. I just wish the last one was a little bit better than it ended up actually being. Uh, the next thing we have here is a pot holder. It looks like Crown's Game Pot Holder by Melissa Designs. Bring some imagination into the kitchen with a Crown's Game inspired pot holder. You're limitations will be endless. It says, imagine, okay, hold on, I can't reach it. Oh, imagine it and it shall be, there are no limits. This is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to read the text, so that's sort of a downside, but it is very pretty. And I have a few of these, like, things from subscription boxes, so this one is really cool. And what I would probably use can you focus? What I would probably use this one for is actually setting hot things on top of it as opposed to like grabbing hot things. I tend to like the gloves for getting hot things out of my oven, but it's really cool to set like on your counter. This feels like it would be really heat resistant as well as obviously it has the heat resistant stuff on the other side, so that's really cool. I like the whole baking theme of this box. I think it's really fun. And then the Polaroid that we got is from Dark Artifices. It says, baking pancakes, baking, baking pancakes, or trying to at least. No black therms were harmed in this disaster. And this is what it looks like. Now, obviously, I haven't read the Dark Artifices, but I am going to keep this because I always think that it's worth keeping the art um, in these boxes. I think I really, they're just, they're always my favorite thing, regardless of whether or not I've read the series, so. That is really cool. Now, the last few things that we got, I think, are for the book. I think, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to get the book out because the last couple things we got are specifically for the book. The book that we got this month is Shadow Frost, and it is by Coco Ma. I am really excited. I was reading her author bio, and it says, Born in 2000, Canadian Chinese author and pianist Coco Ma began playing the piano at age five and a half. Since then, she has performed on some of the world's greatest concert stages and graduated with a pre-college diploma in piano performance from the Juilliard School in New York City. At 15 years old, she finished writing her first novel, Shadow Frost. Currently, she resides at Yale University. When she isn't practicing piano writing or study, you might find her binging Netflix or eating cake. Lots of cake. So she's very young and that's really fucking awesome like she's 20 and she just finished her or she finished her first book at 15 and that's really cool i am excited this is what the spine looks like i've heard a lot of my favorite authors talking about this um most recently b schwab was going on and on about this book and how she received it and she couldn't wait to read it so that just makes me super excited it does have that like soft touch kind of cover which you guys know i really really like um it just seems really cool so 
It says, when Astrid Valenhart, Princess of Ixaria, inherited the throne, discovers that she may hold the key to defeating the mysterious demon terrorizing her kingdom, she vows not to rest until the beast is slain. With the help of her friends and the power she wields, though has yet to fully understand, Astrid sets out to complete a single task, the task that countless trained soldiers have failed to kill it. But as they hunt for the demon, they unearth a plot to assassinate the princess herself instead. Astrid and her companions begin to wonder how much of their lives have been lies, especially when they realize that the center of the web of deceit may, might very well be themselves. With no one else to turn to, they are forced to decide just how much they are willing to sacrifice to protect the only world they have ever known. That is, if the demon doesn't get to them first. That's really cool. That is really cool. I am really excited. I don't necessarily know like the setting of the book, but I do like demons. Um, most recently from reading Sorcery of Thorns, I think that really got me into like the demon mood. So the things that we have left are for the book itself. So we obviously have the signed author plate, really excited for that. And it says, be my shadow, be death. And this is the actual dear reader letter. <laughs> now enjoy my horror cra er, I mean book and remember in a world of magic nothing is ever as it seems. <laughs> Try to call it her horror crux. And then we got a oh that's cool so it came with a free audiobook download that's fucking awesome because I know a lot of people prefer to listen to books um instead of just like carrying around the physical copy that's how they prefer to read it. That is fucking cool I really appreciate that. And then we obviously got a little bookmark and it says she only has one job to kill a demon that cannot die. Said a gorgeous tale with Matroshka, a plot stacked within plots, a fierce rebellious princess, a cast of characters you will constantly be rooting for, stunning magic, and of course all the bloody demons you can shake a sword at. I really like that. Two extra things that came with it um, for the release of the book. What is that? Okay. <laughs> were this pin and this necklace. So they are the same. They look exactly the same, but this is the design on them. If my camera will focus. So it says Shadow Frost. Damn it, camera. Let's try this again. Yes, there we go. So this is what it looks like. I think that that is awesome. The fact that we get a pin and a necklace, I really like that. I'm excited to immediately hang this up on my pin board. It's like some of my favorite colors as well. So yeah, the pin and the necklace are both the same size as well. So I appreciate that. A little bit of extra merch coming with your books. So that's really cool. So that is everything that we got. The shirt that you get if you are on the Unseely Fae, you get the Red Rising shirt by Bridge of Wisteria. So if you guys are interested in like monthly shirts, you can definitely sign up for that as well. But overall, I am really, really impressed. I'd say the thing that I'm most excited for are the straws, but other than that, I'm actually really excited for the book. Um, I mean, I've always, I always like the books that we get. I always think that they're interesting and something that obviously I'm really going to enjoy. But I think this one has me really excited because, like I said, I'm really in like the demony kind of mood, and the fact that she wrote her first book at 15, she sounds like a really cool human as well. So really really excited for this so yeah that is gonna be it for this video that is our fake rate that we got for the month of September I love you guys so much and I hope you guys are having a good day and a good week whenever this goes up I don't know when this is gonna go up but yeah I love you guys a lot and I will see you in my next video